Navigating Access 2013 Open Microsoft Access 2013 as you would any other Office program on your computer. Either double-click the Access icon on your desktop, or go to the Start menu at the bottom left corner of your computer screen, find Access, and click to open it. It will be bundled with any other Microsoft Office software that you have on your computer, so if you don't see it, make sure to look in that folder on the Start menu. Once you open Access, this is what you'll see. This is the backstage view that we talked about earlier in the course. When you have an Access database open, the File tab is available. You will always click the File tab to get to the backstage view. Now, let's learn a little about how to navigate around Access. Click on Blank Desktop Database to create a new database and see the rest of the Access interface. A form will appear and ask you to enter a file name and a location. For now, just leave the default values and click Create. You'll then see the main access window. The Quick Access Toolbar is located in the upper left hand side of your access window, as you can see here. The Quick Access Toolbar contains commands that you use most frequently. If you click the downward arrow to the right of the toolbar, a drop down menu will appear. The commands with a check mark next to them are the ones that currently appear on your Quick Access Toolbar. You can click on a command, such as New, to place a check mark by it and add it to your Quick Access Toolbar or you can click more commands to add others. To remove a command from the toolbar, click the command with a check mark beside it. The check mark will be removed, as will the command from the toolbar. By default, the save, undo and redo appear on the Access 2013 Quick Access Toolbar. We've already showed you the backstage view, but let's review it. Click on the File tab. Then you'll see the backstage view. As you can see here, we have the info highlighted. Let's look at what we can do here. In the center of the screen, you'll see two options, compact and repair database and encrypt with password. If you select compact and repair, Access will compact your database and correct any errors that might cause your database files not to display or open correctly. If you choose encrypt with password, you might see, if you choose encrypt with password, you'll see this window here. Enter a password and re-enter it in the Verify field, and then click OK. However, if we go to the File tab, and if you were to click on Encrypt with Password, and you got an error message about the database being open for exclusive use, there is something you can do. What you'll need to do is close the database by using the Close command. And then go to the File tab, and click on Open. Click on the Computer Entry here, and click on the folder where the file is saved which is probably the My Documents under the current folder heading. Now, select the database file once that we've just created. Click on the drop down arrow next to the word Open and select Open Exclusive. Now, you should be able to go back to the File tab, go to the Info section again and click Encrypt with Password. On the far right side of this screen, click on the View and Edit Database Properties link. In this window, you can edit the properties of your database. Click OK when you've finished viewing or editing. Also under the File tab, on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see Options. These are your access options. Click on Options and we'll show you what you can do. Choose a tab from the left hand side to see the options. You can flip through these tabs to see what features each contains and what you can do with them. Click OK or Cancel when you're finished. In Access 2007, Microsoft introduced Tabs and the Ribbon. This carried over into 2013. The Ribbon starts with the tabs you see at the top of the page, and they're labelled File, Home, Create, External Data, and Database Tools. These tabs are divided into groups which you see below the tab. These make up the Ribbon. The groups contain toolbars. These groups are in place to provide the features that you might need when clicking on that particular tab. The groups are labelled. Those labels are in grey at the bottom of each group. In the Home tab, for example, the groups are Views, Clipboard, Sort and Filter, Records, Find and Text Formatting. The toolbars for these groups are located just above the labels. To view additional features for each group, click on the arrow at the bottom right of each group beside the label. In this example, I can click the clipboard button and it will show me the clipboard pane here. 
The navigation pane opens by default on the left hand side of the access window. You can use the navigation pane to search within your database. It also lists all the tables to make navigating them quick and easy. If you've used previous versions of Access before, you had to make choices whenever you open the database. You had to choose security levels and if you wanted to run code that could potentially be unsafe. In Access 2013, you don't have to worry about that. Access disables all potentially unsafe code for you, regardless of what version of Access was used to create the database. You'll find this feature very helpful if you're opening databases you didn't create. Whenever you try to open a database in Access 2013, you'll see a warning in your message bar. If you trust the database, click Enable Content on this warning. You'll then be able to access the database, make changes to it, and everything else you would normally do. If you don't trust it, you can exit out of the database.